Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 14. The first thing we want to note in this question is that all of the jobs happen simultaneously and start at 7am. We've also got this super worker who's going to support the carpet fitters first. So let's look at the carpet fitters. We're told that two carpet fitters work at the same rate and they can fit the new carpets in 6 hours. So two carpet fitters take 6 hours to do this job. So if we do 2 times 6 hours, there's 12 hours of total work to be done. And we've also got the super worker supporting the carpet fitters, and we're told the super worker is twice as fast as a regular carpet fitter. Since they work twice as fast, you can think of them as working as two carpet fitters rather than one person. So if we've got the two carpet fitters and the super worker, that's the equivalent rate of four fitters. So there's 12 hours of work to do with four fitters, so we do 12 hours divided by the four fitters, which gives you three hours of total work. So at 7am, all of the jobs start, and then at 10am, three hours later, the carpets have been finished. And at this point the carpet fitters would leave. We've still got the super worker though, and they support the plumbers with the boiler after they finish with the carpets. So the super worker will move on to the boiler. We're told in the question that all of the workers have a 30 minute unpaid break every three hours, apart from the super worker of course. So since we've just had three hours, everyone will now be on a break. Now let's look at the plumbers. So we have two plumbers who work at the same speed and can install the new boiler in 8 hours. So two plumbers take 8 hours, so that's 2 times 8 hours, which is 16 hours of total work. Now up to this point they've both been working for 3 hours, from 7am to 10am. So that's 2 times 3, which is 6 hours of work already done. Since the break lasts 30 minutes, then at 10.30am the plumbers would rejoin the super worker. So in this time the super worker has been working on their own for half an hour, and they work at the same speed as a regular plumber, so they've done an extra half an hour's work. So where it says we've done 6 hours of work already, by 10.30am we've done 6.5 hours of work. Now all of the workers would then continue to work for 3 more hours before their next break. That break would occur at 1.30pm. So at 1.30pm, the plumbers go on a break. During this time from 10.30am to 1.30pm you've got the two plumbers plus the super worker all working on the boiler. So each of the three of them does three hours of work, so that's three times three, nine hours of work, so we can add that onto the 6.5 we already have. So 6.5 plus nine is 15 and a half hours of work already done. Now we're nearly there because the total amount of work to fit the boiler is 16 hours, so we only need half an hour's more work. Now at 1.30pm the plumbers go on a break, but of course the super worker continues to work. So they will work for another half an hour until 2pm, and they will have actually completed the job because there's now 16 hours of work done. So at 2pm the boiler is finished. And at this point the plumbers would leave, and the super worker would move on to the roof. Now we're told in the question the two roofers work at the same speed and will repair the roof in 11 hours. So the two roofers will take 11 hours. That's 2 times 11 which is 22 hours of total work. Now up to this point the roofers have been following exactly the same plan as the plumbers. They work for 3 hours, then they break, then 3 hours, then they break. So they've done 6 hours work each. So we do 2 times 6, which is 12 hours of work already done. Now if the job takes 22 hours and we've done 12 hours, we've got 10 hours left. Now the super worker is particularly good at roofing it seems, they work 3 times as fast as a regular roofer. So at 2pm we've got the regular roofer working, but also the super worker, which is the equivalent of 3 roofers. So that's like having 5 roofers working. So if there are 10 hours of work left and we have 5 roofers, that will take 2 more hours. So at 4pm, 2 hours later, the roof will be finished. Now we're ready to try and calculate how much this is going to cost. So let's start with the carpet fitters. They start work at 7am, and then they work till 10am and leave. So they've done 3 hours of work each, and there are two of them, and it says in the question that we pay them £30 per hour. So, 2 times 3 times £30 is £180. Now let's move on to the plumbers. So they start work at 7, then they work until 10 when they go on a break, they start working again at half past 10, and then they work for 3 hours until 1.30, and then they go on a break again, and they finish at 2 so they leave at 2. Altogether they've done 6 hours of work each, and they're paid at £50 per hour. So there's two plumbers, doing 6 hours work times £50 per hour is £600. Now onto the roofers, well they start at 7, they work until 10, and then they have a half an hour break, they start again at half 10, and work for 3 more hours until half 1, and then they have a break again until 2, 
and then work two more hours until four. So they've done two shifts of three hours and one of two hours, so eight hours in total. And we pay them £40 per hour. So it's two times eight times 40, which is £640. And finally, onto the super worker. Well, since the super worker doesn't break at all, they just work from the start till the end of the job. So they work from 7am until 4pm, which is a total of nine hours of work. We pay them at £100 per hour, and there's only one of them, so it's 1 times 9 times 100, which is £900. So if you add up all of these values here, you'll get the total cost, which is £2,320. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.